contest is scheduled for one fall with a 15 minute time limit and it is for the New Japan Pro Wrestling World TV Championship. You see, we're the true kings, the kings of the night, the kings of the lights. Rapongi, Mike. Rapongi. Chip, chip. Rapongi. Huh. Rapongi, Mike. Chip, chip. Rapongi, Vice. Rapongi. Rapongi. Romero. Rapongi, Mike. The current Rapongi, Mike. World historic welterweight champion. Rapongi. Looks to add to his growing collection of gold. One of the first men to hold championships in Ring of Honor, CMLL in New Japan, Rocky Romero, Trailblazer, looking to get his name on the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship, but I don't think he'd mind a detour here with the New Japan World Television title either, Caprice. Absolutely, you know what he's going to do to that title if he gets it. He's going to put some Asuka on it. <laughs> and if you like those fresh beats, Spotify, Apple Music, Rocky Romero, the sweet tunes of Rocky Romero, his own theme music, but uh, this, this one goes a little harder, as the kids say, as we await the New Japan World Television Champ. And here you see a man who is very flustered with himself after Jeff Cobb took him to the 15 minutes. He considers us a loss, even though he still remains champion. It's Zach Silver Jr. Absolutely. This guy, you know, he, he, he puts so much weight on himself that he disappoints himself often. Even when he gets the win, he's still disappointed if he didn't win the way he wanted to win. That's Zach Saber Jr. You saw he and Samoa Joe making grand plans, but Rocky Romero may be the one to try and interrupt that confrontation as we head to the voice of Ring of Honor, Bobby Cruz. Introducing first to my right, the challenger, wrestling out of Los Angeles, California. Weighing 185 pounds, Rocky Asuka Romero. The opponent to my left is wrestling on an aisle of Sheppy Kent, England. Weighing 209 pounds, he is the New Japan Pro Wrestling World TV Champion, Zach Sabre Jr. Chest of Zack Sabre Jr. from Rocky Romero, referee Paul Turner. Sabre starting those mind games and uh, Rocky not having it. No, now you see that beautiful championship. Of course, these bouts have a 15-minute time limit. The crowd, like football hooligans, cheering on Zack Sabre Jr. I'd just like to say for the record, come on, Fulham. Go Fulham. And go Union. Those are my two teams in, in football, but we're going to have a great scientific bout here. 15 minutes. If Sabre goes the distance with Rocky Romero, Sabre remains champion. Oh, nice. Yeah, this is definitely uh, Rocky has to win this match. These matches favor the champion, talent wise and pin wise. You have to be the champion to become champion. But I tell you what, man, this is going to be a great technical match. And you see the confidence for both men. Rocky Romero, when we last saw him here in Ring of Honor, picking up a big win last week against Titus Alexander, the week, a couple weeks prior, defeating Lee Moriarty in a pure match. Yeah, they're one and one. They certainly are. You'd think Moriarty would get first dibs on a title shot if, if Rocky Romero were to win here. <laughs> Wrist lock here, great exchange. And Rocky with his attention diverted all over the place just announced. Ooh, great exchange there for the Independence Day event, says New Japan Strong heads to Japan July 4th and 5th, and I'll be there, my first trip to Japan. Please. Yo, no stable, he's got to come back. Well, I'll be back. As you see, a key lock here, an angle lock. Rocky will be there, but he's been at CMLL lately too, causing havoc with Volador Jr. Side headlock here, he's Mr. Worldwide. Absolutely, man. We see Rocky Romero everywhere the lights need to be. And it's only a matter of time before the lights are on him again. And the title is around his waist. And he's always there and always great to see him. He's like, you know you're going to see a great match when Rocky Romero's in the ring and the Sabres in the ring. So I have popcorn in my hand because I'm ready. Oh, look at that. Series of change. One, two. I saw a counter to a counter as Sabre countered Rocky. There's a counter of a hip toss into a counter of a hip toss of its own. Does the clothesline. Rocky Romero off the ropes. Here we go. Flying head scissors into Rick and Rana. Sets Sabre into the ropes there. 
tell you what, wrestling is definitely the game of human chess, and nobody does it better than the two in the ring right now. Flying hip attack, nobody home. Saber charging in, right. up and over he goes. Oh, Saber to the apron, it's Romero. Yeah. Right yeah. corner, yeah. Saber yeah. in the hey, ropes hey, here. Saber anticipated Stop. that. Yeah. And Romero's gonna take it oh. the and that's softening up the arm for that Diablo armbar, which you won with last week, Caprice. It's that batter is savvy right there. Asuka is planting those seeds, getting that arm ready, just like you said. Put it out, armbar! Especially with that drop kick landing right in the shoulder area. Del Toys, he knows exactly what he's doing, Riccoboni. And we're seeing Asuka from the side. Through the rope, that diving on the saber. It doesn't look like he's done, Caprice. No, he's got some more sugar to add up. Oh, 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 oh. Call the Archies, oh, sugar, sugar. It's Rocky Romero. On the if he hit this one, it's going to be oh, so sweet. Oh, 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 yeah, yes, is that, that's exactly, you can see that fan reaction right there. That's exactly how he should be because that is a twist and tilt. Both of your legs around the neck of somebody's, uh, or both of your legs around the neck of an opponent twisting. That's a lot of impact, very fast. It's like a free cowl break practical adjustment. Oh, and, and there you see the double wrist lock. We saw this from Sabre last week, successful in a tag team battle as the head scissor wrenched on him. and Joe that defeated Christopher Daniels and Matt Seidel, former World Tag Team Champions. I, at the beginning of this match, Caprice, I, I was worried that Sabre might be taking Rocky too lightly, but not mm. right now in control. Sabre's focus seemed to be on Joe. Saber, Saber definitely knows where he's at right now with those transitions in play, one move after the next, and that's just the way Saber is. Moving around the cockiness that he has, those mental game plans that he has. He has Rocky Romero crawling right now. Snap Mara takeover. Rocky holding on. Now yeah, Rocky with an exchange of his own there, and Saber. Rocky holds on, back up to his feet, and it's Saber again. And that's what yeah. our colleague Nigel McGinnis' favorite moves. We're going to give a shout out to Nigel. Coming up. Oh, come on. Mm. Giving a very successful tour of the UK with his magic tour as Saber now in control of the neck of Rocky. Five minutes elapsed time, 10 minutes remaining the time limit. It's going to be the arm of Saber and the neck of Rocky that we're going to be looking out for. Both men trying to plant seeds to finish the match. And Rocky with that open hand. Saber wants another. And of course, that chess game you talked about, Caprice. Yeah. You're not going to get a free shot against Saber. Absolutely. He held onto it, blocked it just to get Rocky close to him, to close that gap so he could wrap there again. That Kovat is in. And watch Saber's right foot. He likes to go inside and get that ankle trip when he's in the curve. It's, it's to block you from rolling through it because you can roll forward through. Uh, if Rocky gets a sense about it, he can roll through there. But when you block the leg, you can't roll. It'll put you in a seating position. Ooh, there you go. And again, yep. Rocky twisting out of it. Great snap suplex there from Rocky Romero. There's some great wrestling going on here, man. And if you're not a... A, uh, an avid wrestling fan, a lot of stuff that go by you, but it's a lot of chess being played here, and a lot of checks as well, like move for move, back and forth very fast. Open hand from Rocky Romero, and the striking portions of these matches, Caprice, you're absolutely right, feel like they're checkers, but rest assured, both men so talented that the Hurricane Rana caught oh, that, and there yeah. you see, that's the chess you were talking about, the Hurricane yeah. caught the ankle lock. Just lacing the, lacing the left leg, to stop the momentum of that Huna Karana just so he can get that ankle lock. And look at Romero trying to push up to alleviate the pressure, forcing Saber to correct his grip. And the rebound kick connects on Saber. Absolutely Rocky. tremendous back and forth exchange here. Yeah, Rocky with that kick, but didn't have enough to capitalize. He's still in a lot of trouble. You can see right there, even while he's limping, taking his time, going to say he's not rushing in. And delivering the open hands across the chest to Sabre. Oh, 
Oh, Curly Larry Moe there. Off the ropes. Irish whip reverse. Sabre following Romero in. European oh, uppercut. It's Romero. Springboard. Catch oh, Sabre with a wow. DDT. He got all of that. You can see Sabre is jammed Two. up. Ooh. Sabre was stiff. Even his left arm is still stiff. Well, if you remember last week, Caprice, it was Christopher Daniels working on the neck of Sabre. Rocky yeah. Romero has, has to know that Daniels softened that neck up. Yep. And, and that might be great, because Romero's finishing moves to Shurnoy. Instead, up and over. Forearm connects. Is that variation of the slice bread? Yeah. Oh, what? Look at the arm the ropes. Break the whole Rocky. Break the whole Rocky. Oh, and Sabre caught the knee. The knee is not strong. Oh, God. And, and Rocky, he can't, he can't breathe. Well, you know Sabre's going to take every bit of that count, had him trapped. He knew what he wanted to do. The reason why he didn't let go in the start, he was almost waiting for the five count for Rocky to break the start with. So he can lock that move in. It's a smart move. I mean, it's, it, it wasn't pretty, but I tell you, it was smart by Sabre. Sabre staying on the neck area of Rocky. Nice snap suplex there. Powering the hips in and then back. Oh, no. Right there to the back of the neck, yeah. Two little press. Two only. There's a bullseye target on the neck of Rocky Romero right now, and there's nothing he can do about it. And Sabre's locked in, Riccoboni. And, and you can tell Caprice because normally out of cover, Sabre would maintain control of the wrist. Instead, it's just these cheeky kicks now just to yeah. irritate Romero. It's frustration he's trying to lock in. If you get him fighting mad and, you be, and you're wrestling, you're going to stay in control. Ooh, European uppercut delivers on Romero there. Oh, and again. Driving those forms, caught this time, looking for the back slide. Said Romero, wrist lock into an arm ringer there. Get back to that arm. And that's how he finished off Titus Alexander. That's how he finished off Lee Moriarty. Went to the arm bar, the open hands. Oh, under the jaw. Rapid fire. Oh, God, that knee caught Sabre right in the chin. Oh, but he gave up his own knee, Caprice. That was the knee. Sabre had done some damage, too, earlier in the bout in that ankle lock. As Romero off the rush. Cover! 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 The inside leg! Two! Rocky has two! And so close, I got to think that knee was damaged just enough that Rocky didn't get as much as he normally gets on that. As How much time do we have left? Ten minutes elapsed time. Five minutes remaining in the time limit. Well, there you Did go. you hear me? Looking for the sure noise! This time countered, countered by Sabre. Body lock sleeper. Shades of how Joe tapped out Christopher Daniels last week. The wrist grab though from Romero. Trap, two. Sabre, two. Rocky looking to play spoiler, two. It's a dangerous game right here. Two. Whoa. What? What? Turn and talk to me. And if, if it was any other official than senior referee Paul Turner, I would be scratching my head, shaking my head. But Turner was right there. I trust Paul Turner's judgment. Romero right back to the arm of Sabre. And the damage is being done. Sabre cannot move that arm. Even when he landed on his neck, he went straight to his arm again. Oh, there you go. Right, right into it. That's the it. Armor. Can he get it? Hyperextended. He gets the break. Four minutes got remaining. Face. It's, it's got a one, Sabre. Nice. Sabre. Sabre gets out of it by trapping the legs. He traps the legs. Sabre into an E-bar. Oh, God, a calf killer. That calf he rolled stretch. too high on the calf killer. And, oh, my, they're Bro both in a submission. And Rocky's this got the arm. Of, yeah. And look at the ankle lock. The pressure on the ankle of Sabre. Oh, into the wrist. What? Open stretch and Rocky taps. The oh, winner of this match by submission and still New Japan Pro Wrestling World TV Champion Zack Saber Jr. Wow! How many moves do you have to have? How many moves do you have to know to be able to transition from move to move to move like the television champion did? Saber is champion for a reason. Every time he comes out, he has another move to his plate. He shows another arsenal. He's not afraid of anybody. And he feels he has made this picture.